Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Shine. Now I have already made a video on how you can make gel food, but I made it with gelatin and this time we are going to do so with agar agar and we'll get into that more later. But you're gonna need a cup of water, veggies of your choice, any safe veggies. You're going to be blending this so that it can be in the gel food really well mixed. You're gonna want a teaspoon or a tablespoon of agar agar, one teaspoon of spirulina, and one tablespoon of dried live food. Now, the reason why I say a teaspoon or a tablespoon is because if you want to be on the more secure side that everything is binded and nothing will come out of the gel food, I recommend a tablespoon for one cup of water. Uh, that's the ratio of agar agar that you're going to use. And this, uh, you can pause to see the ingredients that I'm using and I'll be blending up. I also would, did not put garlic in this. I will say that I would recommend putting garlic. Garlic is just an easy way for you to know if your autosynclas are uh, vampires or not. <laughs> no, but they really, uh, it, garlic is very enticing to fish. So if they struggle at first, to eat the gel food, garlic is going to help them so much better. I forgot garlic, but luckily my otters have been eating it. <laughs> but back to agar agar. Agar agar is a red algae and it's usually extracted from seaweed. Now the reason why I wanted to make gel food with this, especially for algae eaters and autosynclas, is because this is going to be so much more of a natural protein for them and the fact that you can give them another variety of algae is just amazing because it's already so hard to get r the right algae to feed your algae eaters because they don't eat every single type of algae and it is hard to grow specific kinds. So that's the reason we are using the agar, agar this time. And agar agar is sold as like a vegan alternative to gelatin. So it has been becoming more uh, popular in stores. So you would be able to find it hopefully in any whole food markets or just online or hopefully just anywhere you can uh, buy gelatin. <laughs> now I'm not going to tell you how long this is going to take because honestly you guys I have ADHD and I take the longest route possible not on purpose it just happens so I am really in no shape or form able to give you that information because I I get sidetracked and I just take longer on doing things and I focus really hard on things that you necessarily don't have to focus so hard on. So I can't really tell you how long this is going to take, but it's worth it. Any time that it takes you is going to be worth it. It lasts so long. You can feed this once or twice in a week. Well, probably only once because it does last a long time in the tank and it actually will not foul your water uh, because Agar agar is very good at binding it all together and keeping it in the gel food. So you really don't have to worry. But if you want to be on the safe side, you can always just uh, do small water changes, maybe with like a plastic bottle uh, while the gel food is in the tank. Now in this portion of the video, I'm going to go over probably not a very common problem, but just to avoid the error that I made, make sure that you are heating up the agar agar. And I, I don't know what happened. I really thought that gelatin and the gel food video I made in the past <laughs> did not need to be uh, heated up in any way or have boiling water. Um, but going back to the video, clearly I did use it, the boiling water, so I'm not sure why I thought otherwise. <laughs> but just make sure you are going to put this in a pot and 
or have an electric kettle and pour boiling water over it when you are mixing the agar agar because here you'll see it's just going to turn frothy and it's not going to bind well at all and it'll just crumble in the tank straight away and i will show you what happened uh because i didn't find out until i put it in the tank <laughs> so just to avoid that mistake <laughs> But with your heated ingredients, you're going to mix it well together so that the agar agar uh, really binds with everything and coats all of your ingredients. And you really want to make sure that all of your ingredients are very well blended because this will help the gel food be a lot more uh, solid in the end. Even though everything is going to be coated <laughs> in agar agar and it will be sealed, uh, you still want it to be a nice uh, solid mix. So they really eat everything that's in there and they don't start selectively f picking off their favorite parts. Now here you can see what my grand error <laughs> has led me to. The bits and pieces of veggie half sealed agar agar <laughs> are just everywhere they're just they're enjoying it but it's everywhere and you definitely don't want this to happen because your water will cloud up and especially with the spirulina if it's not well binded it does get cloudy in the tank so um just be sure you don't pull a shine and uh remember to boil your water because it's very important so that it's an actual gel food and not a gel salad. <laughs> In the end, you'll end up with this amazing result. Finally, a full solid gel food. And your algae eaters are going to love this. I also wanted to quickly go over why I put live food in this. Now, a lot of people tend to think that algae eaters in aquariums shouldn't have any source of uh, protein or animal protein but that's just not the case they actually do and especially in the wild eat lots of different microorganisms that live inside of algae so it's not just the algae that they uh, take out in the uh, wild so it's very important to also supplement uh, some live foods or just freeze-dried or in some ice cubes of any kind especially for autosynclists who are not uh, hunters because uh, they might coexist with your autosynclists. So definitely uh, something to keep in mind and especially if you want to breed them, it's so important as well because protein will help them bulk them up and be ready for uh, making those eggs, which is stressful. <laughs> Now you can make as big of a batch as you want and just store it in any airtight container and keep it in the freezer. Now this is going to last you so long, but if you want some kind of security, I would always recommend uh, trying to finish the gel food up within a year. So any longer than that, I maybe wouldn't trust it anymore, but I'm not really an uh, expert in freezing expiration dates and such but i do know that uh with if you use it up within a year it will be more than perfectly fine be sure to check out my other videos on what you can feed algae eaters i mainly make videos on autosynclus but they work for all algae eaters as well so the how to keep autosynclus alive video includes a lot of different veggies if you want ideas on what to feed so i will be linking that in the right hand corner i have so much to show you guys i have been updating so many things aquarium wise 
And so be sure to stay subscribed and hit the notification bell so you are uh, notified of those videos. I know that I make three types of content and not all of you follow or have the content that I make. So notifying will help you be able to keep track on the content that you do want to watch and avoid the ones you don't want to watch. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and all of your support. I really, really am so grateful because a lot of the things that I'm going to show you guys wouldn't be possible without all of your support. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.